Welcome to the Wood Factor. I'm Paul Wooders. It's time for, well, it's not really time for anything, but I'm doing my Nerd Shelf tour video. Now, the the word Nerd Shelf is kind of a misnomer because the it's kind of spread all over the house at this point. Now, I usually start in the workroom, which is actually where I am, but not for the same reason. I'm not going to show you all that because that's kind of behind the scenes stuff. So, but uh, what's going on is I got my uh, two tier display case I've, I've stained it and uh, clear coated it and now it's going to dry and then tomorrow I'll start putting it together and that and the reason I'm in the workroom is because that's where I got some of the pieces so are you ready nerd shelf tour video uh, what is today July 5th 2016 there we go ta-da I vanished all right. <laughs> all right there's one of the long pieces there this is going to be the top I think no, I think it's gonna be the bottom well it's kind of hard to say whichever one looks the roughest is gonna be on the top because the because it'll be up higher and the, the, it'll be in shadow up above so I'm still working on that I think this one's gonna be the top and this one I think looks a little better anyway and here's the here's this is gonna be the riser now I haven't stained the whole thing because I really don't need to because they're gonna be pressed together and the, I didn't stain the back of it. They're just going to be bolted down, and, and that'll be it. In fact, it feels dry, but basically it's going to look. Hang on a second. The two pieces are going to be like this, and yeah, here's here's my riser, and then the things that sit on the bottom, and there's where the plexiglass is going to go through. And the cool news on the plexiglass, I looked at this video and they told me all this about this uh, certain type of blade you have to use. And you, you nail the, you clip, clamp the uh, plexiglass down on a table and use a circular saw. And I figured out that was a bunch of nonsense. And they also said that it had to have a certain number of teeth in the blade. Otherwise, it'll crack and split. And it turns out I did exactly what they said and it cracked and split. So, but I took a piece of scrap because the, it's the piece... The plexiglass is actually longer than the than the uh, the the longer. This is a shorter case, and it's actually longer than the longer case. And so I cut a cut a strip of the plexiglass with a standard table saw combination blade, and it worked perfectly. It didn't split a thing. So so that that's your that's your my tip for the day is if you're cutting plexiglass, just use a damn table saw. That's all. No 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 fancy nothing. Just do it that way. Okay, so there's another piece I haven't quite decided if I was going to use. I got it sanded. It's ready to stain. And oh, and here's the end pieces over here. I laid those down there to, to dry. And so here, I'm going to stop off at the refrigerator because uh, I, I did something different since the last time. I got all the smaller things on the top, medium things on the bottom, and the bigger things on the side. And I'm kind of rethinking that because as you can see, a whole bunch of really big blank spaces there. But we'll start over here. Oh, here's my uh, 4th of July flag over here. And then, okay, this is some uh, Firefly, the, from the first Firefly box. And then just, well, just general stuff. Here you go. There's another one from the first one. There's the Loot Crate card that they had. This is from the second one. And this is a travel sticker, and I've lost the travel sticker from the first one. I don't know where it is, and that's rather upsetting. There's a Zelda... 8-bit heart bar, Firefly cargo crate. That was the uh, um, introduction to the crate. They went BB on board. There you go. <laughs> and we're going to move down below here. Have something from Doctor Who. There's some more uh, Firefly Star Wars, of course. There's another Firefly print. Okay, I talked about this one before. Um, it's a mouse pad, Majora's Mask mouse pad. And I had put all the bunch of little magnets. You can see them; they kind of look like little stars. And they're strong magnets. Uh, see, I had ten on each side, and it held it up. Except at some point, I noticed it started to slip, and was resting on the bottom here. So I pulled it back up, and looked at it a day later, and it was resting on it again. So I put five extras, and it seems to be holding. There it is. So, Star Wars item, Incredible Hulk. There's a uh, Futurama print. There's a dragon print, just a general 
dragon prince. Very well done. And there's the there's the drawing that Deadpool was working on at the beginning of the movie. Another mouse pad, and it's a lot thinner, so I only needed four magnets for that. Now here's something brand new. Escape from New York print. Very nice. Here's another new one. And that's uh well Donkey Kong from the original uh what do you call it? arcade games. Uh, what do you, what do you call it? Cab arcade cabinet games from the, from the arcade days. And then we have my big ones. I still have some of these up. There's a Star Wars. There's a Zelda Hyrule map. Here's a Zelda Hyrule map tea towel. Lots of Zelda stuff on this particular wall. There's one there. And this came in the second Firefly crate. It's a, like a wanted poster palm pad readout thing for uh, Jane Cobb. Wanted, uh, I don't know, dead or alive or whatever. I, don't know. I think that's it in here. So the, here's the main shelf over this way, but we're going to start over here. Because that this is, I wouldn't mind turning this, well, turning this into the Zelda, Zelda only uh, shelf here. Um, but I'm still working on the the big shelf, so we'll see. It's dark back in here. Hang on, let me change the light. All right, see what that does. Well, there's my, oh, that uh, other Hyrule, that Hyrule map. There's the game, Monopoly game that it came in. And I have some little Zelda pieces over here. And the Skyward Sword gold uh, Wiimote and uh, Nunchuck. There's the old Merlin game I added on there. Now there's a, uh, let's see, AR card. There's some AR cards back there. There's my Metroid one. And I did have a... Uh, morph ball stress ball right there except i dropped it you can probably actually see it if you look down here somewhere i can't see the thing of the uh viewfinder but it should be back there somewhere i'll dig it out next time i do that this was my first attempt at a uh um, 3d print i need to work on that i haven't messed with it i had to buy a new motor for it so uh, i haven't messed with it since but there's my got some angry birds and the virtual boy 3D glasses. There's a uh, Wheatley from uh, what's that from Portal 2, and there's a warning plaque for Aperture Science Portal 2. And then I've got a little Game Boy keychain, and this right here is a Super Nintendo style GameCube controller, but it doesn't work with all games because there's no C button, so that's a thing. And here's my one of my newer items. It's a uh, Legend of Zelda multi-tool. And oh, and here's my here's an even newer item, a little dog tag, which is very cool. And this is a little zinc. Well, I can wind it up without slinging it all over the place. A little zinc tab. I'm not sure exactly if I can get the thing to focus on there. It's not going to do. What does it say? Oh, it's upside down anyway. <laughs> But it's got this nifty sword on the other side of it. And this thing is not focusing. Why does it do that? Sometimes it will, sometimes it won't. Who knows? Well, plants versus zombies. Oh, actually, this was the first attempt at something. I was trying to do a, a 3D print of a Hyrule, uh, the, the Triforce. And it only got one layer before it starts screwing up. And oh, That is a Game Boy Advance coffin case. And there's the game that the case came with was about whatever and uh, there we have a Game Boy Advance with a Matrix skin and my Assassin Creed coin and little pouch that it came with there's my rock pepper scissors dice it's from a game from a loot crate box there's my Zelda uh, rupee chest open up there's a red I think there's a red rupee inside there very cool so that's everything over here Oh, and for the, for the gamers, I have all this stuff. Oh, you can see it. Cool. With the, with the lights on, you can't see the Wii stuff because it's all in black. But uh, there's everything. There's perfect. And then we have my uh, PlayStation 2. And if you ever decide you want a uh, wireless re uh, wireless controller, I recommend the, uh, and it's not going to focus, Logitech. This is a Logitech brand wireless controller and there's a little dongles to go with it. Highly recommend that for the uh, 
because the original controllers are, in my opinion, crap. There's my PlayStation 3, which still doesn't work. I posted a video, got 4,000 views, and it still doesn't work. And nobody knows how to make it work. Blow the dust out of it. No, it's a mechanical problem. It doesn't, blowing the dust won't do anything. So anyway, aside from that, there's my GameCube with the Game Boy Player. And there's my Xbox 360. And there's my 360 controllers with the hydro dip cases. Uh, cases? I'm not sure what to call them. Anyway, you take all the guts out of your controller and put it in, in that one. People do that. Do that. And then I got a transparent one as well, which is nifty. There's my 64, my 64 controllers, and then I have my Super Nintendo there. And let's see, let me get turn the light on over here. Here's my magnet wall. I call this my magnet wall. All right, over here with just some uh, regular magnet board. And I got my uh, the last few movies I've seen at the theater. Mostly I see stuff at home, but you got to see stuff in the theater sometime. Harry Potter magnets and my Matrix magnets and well here's some magnets buttons from uh, Portal 2. This thing's not going to focus, is it? Why is there somebody to do that manually? I don't know. Anyway, well my sister graduated from college. She was doing some uh, business courses and and uh, here's the Mario sheet of Mario brother or Super Mario magnets. So you can put each one of these little things as a magnet. So you can just sort of kind of arrange them any way you like. So I kind of made me a little scenic thing going on there. And here's my patches and pins. This is this is the year so far for uh, Marvel Collector Core. And my Legion of Collectors is a uh, Legion, yeah, Legion of Collectors, which is DC Comics. This is obviously Marvel Comics. And then um, what do you call it? Star Wars Smuggler's Bounty. And then here's some just some random button or pins I've got. Resident Evil, and a NES controller. It's not going to focus. There's a patch from see, Galaxy Quest. And here's all the pins from Loot Crate. Oh, this is a I forget what's. I don't know if this is from Loot Crate or from another bot. I think it might be from uh, what do you call it? Uh, one of the nerd blocks. But here's all the Loot Crate crates that I've got. This is the uh, core crate up on the top row, and we have. Deluxe crate. They're they're a little bigger, so I kind of staggered them like that. So that's that's this is the newest one. It is cool. That is killer. And we have uh, the Firefly crate. There's the Founder's pen. And then we've had two boxes so far. So there's those. And then the Gamer crate. And these are really nice looking buttons. And there those are. All right. And oh, and here's the uh, the back piece for the new two tiered shelf. That's uh, just laying there drying. Actually, like I said, it's uh, I feel like it's dry. So, but I'm gonna wait till tomorrow just to make sure it's all all done. Oh, here's my 3D printer up here. Got a little dust cover on it there, but it's kind of got ground into the plate. And they said it needs a new Z motor, which I have, but never got around to putting on there. I'm going to someday. I'm sure I will. So, <laughs> there's some books I've gotten from the. Uh, out of, out of the boxes, here's a Weird Al book, and here's a Stan Lee uh, memoir book, and I think that's it. These are just other ones I've had, gotten from uh, way before. And here's where my Funko Pops start. Actually, yeah, that's the first one. Okay, so here's I'm just gonna roll over these, and you can kind of see them. I want to post a new uh, what do you call it? A Funko Pop tour. I did one. And I don't think I've gotten a whole lot of them since then, so I, don't, I think it's a little too soon to do a new one. Now, the this box won't fit in the shelves over here. I think it's probably going to be too deep to fit on my two-tiered shelf, so I don't know what I'm going to do with it. There's all my Matrix Pops, all the ones that are available. And here's all my Matrix uh, things. That's a actually a light right there, backlit uh, deal. Mouse pad, button... This is a movie reel, allegedly, a movie reel case, allegedly from the movie. I don't know if it, I got something really awesome or I got robbed. I don't know. <laughs> so go either way. And my Back to the Future said I used to have the my Funko Pops over here. There's only two that I have. 
Oh, but I'll get to those in a little bit. And then here's my, what do you call it? Guardians of the Galaxy area. And the first item I got was the mug and the uh, items and the scarf because they came in the first Marvel Collector Core box that I got. The first one I, I got. So. And then I got some more pops over here. Then we're kind of empty. We're kinda, everything's kind of in flux. There's my shredder shades and there's my Hot Wheels uh, area. That was kind of scoot over everything. You can pause on any part of this and, and uh, comment in this section. Ask me about whatever. Here's the Firefly area. Over here. There's the two Q figs. The Kaylee one was from the first box, the first crate, Firefly crate, and then the Jane Cobb one was from the second. Is that everything from the Firefly? I thought I'm sure I had more. I'm sure I misplaced something. Anyway, so oh, let me stand up here. All right, then we move up to the Doctor Who area. And I have all the Doctors available, except there's the fourth Doctor I haven't got. And then I need to rearrange this shelf, because you can see they're kind of covering things up. I want to move this shelf over just a little bit, which means this has to go away. This stack of, this is, these are milk crates here. They kind of have to go away. Because I have to move that away from the wall just a little bit. And my uh, Doctor Who shelf got full. So I kind of rolled it around onto my first two-tiered shelf. So, see, Doctor Who goes up to here. There we go. And I finally got to the 10th Doctor. That was the last of the current uh, Doctors I got. And then to continue the shelf, I got some more goodies over here. Well, there's one of my glow-in-the-dark items. Oh, and the adipose is a glow-in-the-dark. Now, the, this doctor, the regen doctor, is also a glow-in-the-dark, but he doesn't really glow that much. I left him in the light for a while, and I turned the light off hoping to take a picture of him glowing, and it, the camera won't pick him up. So, oh, well. But he's, he's still awesome. I still want the one with the 3D glasses, though. Okay, that's everything on this side. Oh, and this is my area where I was just now working on my... Uh, shelf standing and watching TV while I was uh, doing that, so I can put that away. Okay, then here's my big, uh, my big 55 inch. It's actually longer than that. These pieces, the long pieces are 55 inches, and then the end caps make them a little longer. But I'm going to call it 55, just that's what I started with. But anyway, you, you know how you want pops that are out of the box, just because the way they are, and so I made them, made me a little display case. And then you got the six inch pops that usually don't fit. Now Hagrid is actually five and a half inches. So the uh, the, the Hulkbuster will not, he's actually six inches, so he will not fit in here. That's what prompted me to make the two-tiered shelf. Now the two-tiered shelf, you can have a pop here and then one up behind them. So they'll be raised just a little bit. So so anyway, here's all the there's there's my Back to the Future pops, the two that I got. And then now these really don't warrant an out of box because they're just plain uh, pops, except I got these and they were sent in bubble mailers of all things. I'm still, I know, grousing about that. So the boxes were damaged and so I took them out of the box. But Ron, Ron's box was fine, but you know, one of the group together and then, well, then there's Hagrid. So, <laughs> so he kind of went from there. The only reason he's in there is because he actually fits. Like I say, he's five and a half inches. And as you can see, his head just kind of barely brushes the top of the thing. <laughs> As it should be. So then here's my uh, action pose, what they call action poses. And this was a Marvel Collector Core exclusive. And then we have a, a Iron Man Mark 43, I think, suit. Silver Surfer, the Armored Batman. He's not an action pose, but he's just really awesome. So Now, I'm not usually a fan of dwarves. And this thing is still not focusing, isn't it? Oh, well. Um... But I got this one. This is from Fallout. This is the uh, Bethesda Bethesda Armor Power Suit. And I, don't know, I just liked it, so I kept it. And then same with uh, uh, Star-Lord. Here's my big pop. The blue Snaggletooth from Marvel, or from Smuggler's Bounty. Excuse me. Then we have Locutus of Borg. And then my Q-Fig. Um, Deadpool. I just kind of 
blank out on these things. And then we have a series of pups that are sitting on top here, just to show you these. Okay, now here, these guys right here are going to go into my next uh, display case because that's the action poses. So they need to be there. Okay, then we move down. There's still a blank space there, so I'm going to put some extra shells there. But uh, here's the really cool setup. This is from Loot Crate. This is a Q-Fig. As you can see, it's got the same base as the uh, Deadpool Fig. So they're from Quantum Mechanics does those. And the box was actually made for that. So well, that's pretty spiffy. And I got a few hats. I like the I guess some little styrofoam head things that people went, people put wigs on and for displaying the hats, but well maybe someday, who knows? So then we got some more pops over here. They've taken over mugs. Oh a Viking drinking horn. We got a geek fuel uh, mug. Or glass rather, excuse me. And the uh, and here's my game gamer shelf right here. It's it's just for little things. Okay, I I mentioned these before. Usually in the uh, super gig box boxes, the individually these items are kind of meh. They're okay, but you put them all together in a group like this, and they're just really pretty darn cool. To have a whole array of uh, little tidbit uh, deals there. So there you go. This is a fairly new item. I, Pokeball slash Ninja Turtle stress ball. <laughs> there you go. Oh, I can finally put all my Tron stuff on the same shelf. I got my ID disc and then all the little, little vehicles there. There's my Pikmin onions. A couple more hats. My lunch box. Uh, well, you don't want to see what's down there. It's, just, uh, it's all kind of mushed together here. Let's get that out of the way so we can see what we're doing. And then we have just what the? I think I stirred up some dust just then. Anyway, here's some. I'm just gonna go across these. I've, these have all been pretty much in all the videos. So if there's anything you wanna ask about, you can pause it and post a question down in the uh, comment section. And again, the shelves are kind of covering up the corner, so this is gonna have to be moved over to the right just a bit. My I gotta have a whole section for the minions, so there you go. Oh, this is something I just don't know why, just had to have it. So there you go. And over here. Oh, this is all kind of need to display this a little bit better. This is from my trip to Vegas. Eh, a little better anyway. Oh, there's all last year's loot crate buttons. All on the little display there. The Harry Potter books. Harry Potter pops, aside from the three that are in the, or four that are in the case. I think Baltimore was my first Harry Potter pop. I do believe, yes, pretty sure. Well, this is, there's two shelves of Harry Potter things. Oh, here we go, I don't want to miss these. I wish this thing would focus better. Okay, so we got all this. Oh, this is a new item. Nice heavy duty uh, bookmark. It's like metal. It's kind of maybe, I don't think it's pewter, but it's pretty heavy. Bookmark. The hat, I kind of got it mushed over here. So there you go. Oh, these are from the midnight parties of these two books. First edition, first print, whatever, whatever. And uh, I actually pre-ordered these. I went to the parties, but I had pre-ordered because I wasn't sure I was going to the party. So, hmm, but anyway, but it was all first print, so it's all good. I still don't have Wally, the Wally Funko Pop. And I finally got the, the Toothless oh, from How to Train Your Dragon. So I got the, the, the three that I want. There's some more dragons, but these are the three that I wanted. I got a smaller Toothless right there. More bits and whatnots. Ant Man. I want to put all the Ant Man together because I, yeah, that's what I want to do in the three, two tiered shelf. That is uh, put the Ant because you got Giant Man and the Ant Man and then the little minis over here. So you got all the different sizes. And so in the, now I do have a Wally, but it's not a Funko Pop. Let's see if I can get him to. I got him hooked up. Wally. 
Yeah, there he goes. And I have my license plates from way back when. And the flag from when my father died. We have uh, BJ the Bear. He was my co-pilot when I was driving a truck. I'm not doing that anymore. Trying not to anyway. So here's my Star Trek little bits here. And here's all the coolest items from the previous boxes. We got here loot gaming. Something needs to go there, and I can't think of what it is. Oh well, I'll deal with it. But uh, spoiler alert: if you haven't seen the new deluxe loot crate. That there's a badge that goes on that card right there. I should put that on there with it. But, uh, oh, there's my little uh, Pikmin diorama. Cool deciding from Loot Crate, the Matrix puzzle. I started to put it together, and it just, you know, I was not going to be able to do it in one setting, and it was in the way. So I might start it again and put it on like a big piece of cardboard so I can move it and put it away when I'm not messing with it. Latest Firefly crate with the Jane Cobb. A bot crate, yeah, and there's a hip flask, actually metal, metal hip flask, that's pretty cool. Nerdblock Classic was a Goonies map, pretty killer. And this is from Nerdblock Arcade, it's a Legend of Zelda journal, very, very nice. And here's a Back to the Future set of coasters. My favorite item from Sci-Fi Buck. I got a new one. Should be coming out pretty soon. I'm thinking. And Legion of Collectors. I've seen. Well, I haven't actually watched the videos, but the see, people have got the new Legion of Collectors, and I looked at the tracking, and as far as the tracking is concerned, it hasn't even showed up or hadn't even started yet. So I think it's on its way, but hasn't registered yet. So Marvel Collector Core, which is fairly new. Gwen. My favorite item was the Gwen Stacy or Spider Gwen T-shirt. Smuggler's Bounty, we have uh, Boba Fett. Super Geek Box, that one's kind of going away, so I need to retire the... Or that has actually gone away. I kind of stopped, uh, stopped doing that one, so I need to retire the box. And this is... What's this from? Oh, Pop in a Box. My favorite pop from the Pop in a Box. June, June Box is uh, the Yoda. And this is pretty cool. Geek Fuel has a couple of meh, lightweight items, but they always come up with something really cool, too. That's actually a flower pot. Actually, you can actually grow flowers in that. So it's very nifty. Very cool. So that's, uh, I guess, it. Isn't it? I think so. Oh, my uh, minion calendar. So <laughs> there it is. Well, that's everything. Oh, hang on a second. I forgot one thing. At least I think I did. Was this right here? I should have shown that while I was up here. This is actually the box art from the inside of the Star Wars crate that came out last year, late last year, from, from Loot Crate. So, anyway, that's everything now, I do believe. Well, that's everything. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, probably, well, I, like I said, got lots to do and lots of everything is kind of in flux. And there's a whole section over here that still needs. Uh, Still very empty right here, so I got lots to do over there. Oh, and this is the side that the display case is going. That, that new one is because it's only it's only two feet uh, or four feet, four feet long. So that's where that's going. Opposite that one. So that's it. I'm Paul Wooders. This is the Wood Factor, and this is my July 2016 Nerd Shelf Tour. I think I'll call it Nerd Room Tour, Nerd House, whatever. House of Nerd. <laughs> hey. Well, anyway, that's it for me. I'm out of here. We'll see you next time.